वेलकम बैक टू लर्निंग विद जियो स्निप्स वी आर बैक विद अनदर वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ यू कैन जस्ट एक्सपोर्ट योर डैम इन एज अ 3D मॉडल सो फॉर दैट व्हाट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव एडेड अ डैम फाइल एंड देन व्हाट यू हैव टू डू जस्ट गो टू प्लगइन इन मैनेज एंड इंस्टॉल प्लगइन जस्ट सर्च फॉर डैम टू 3D एंड देन क्लिक इट इफ इट इज नॉट इंस्टॉल्ड इन योर QGIS, you will get an install option. Just install it and then close it. Once you will install it, go to your raster and then there will be an option as Dem to 3D has been added into it. Just click Dem 3D printing and a new window will appear for you. Give your layer whatever layer you want to print as a 3D model and then it will ask you about the extent, what extent you want uh, for your map, how much area you want to print. For now, we are selecting a small region by drawing a extent here. You can draw any extent and then you can see that value has been filled by the QGIS. Now it will ask you for more of the parameter. It is asking about your model, what spacing you want, width, length, scale, exaggeration many thing it will ask you you can play this with as your requirement with spacing we are going for 0.5 for now width we want it as this much and now we want uh, the length and the scale has been already decided by the QGIS you can change the vertical exaggeration we are going to keep it as 0.5 and then it will ask you what height you want we are keeping it as the lowest whatever is the lowest point in our dem file and then you can export it to stl model it will be exported into dot stl file it will take some time to build the geometry It will depend on your internet connection as well or on the basis of how much area you have selected or uh, on the parameter like what model size you want is it very big or is it a small model it will depend on all these factor and it will generate a model for you once the model has been generated it will show you a message that your model has been generated yeah so now you can see the STL model has generated here. Now you can go anywhere where you have saved it. And then once you double click on this, you will get a model like this. Now you can see, you can see the, it's a 3D model which shows you where is the depression, where is the height. Like this, you can perform this operation in QGIS. You can do it for the whole dam. You can select the area. You can increase your vertical exaggeration or uh, the other factors as well. So that's it for today. Thank you.